In this video, we will demonstrate how to perform in-cab display setup for AutoTrack Turn Automation, commonly known as ATTA. Prior to setting up ATTA on the display, ensure that you have installed a Starfire receiver on your implement. You will see better performance and accuracy with an implement receiver and AutoTrack implement guidance turned on, but an implement receiver is not required for AutoTrack Turn Automation. Next, measure and enter all machine and implement dimensions and perform an advanced TCM calibration. Let's begin by discussing AutoTrack Turn Automation setup for tractors. Headlands are required to utilize AutoTrack Turn Automation. To set up headlands, click Menu, Applications, Fields and Boundaries. Click within the large white boundary box. Click the pencil icon next to the exterior boundary. Select the headland type that you would like to use. For constant offset, you will enter the offset value. For top and bottom offset, enter the heading angle, top offset, and bottom offset. Click Save. Next, it is time to set up your headland sequences. Click Menu, Applications, AutoTrack Turn Automation. ATTA functionality has been decoupled, so operators can automate as much or as little of the turn as they would like. The system will require a planned turn and machine steering, which can be accomplished by turning the module on, but speed and equipment control are optional automated functions. To operate AutoTrack Turn Automation, turn it on from the ATTA summary screen. Under Equipment Control, select On, and within Headlands, click Enter. Choose from an existing sequence or create a new sequence. Click to add step. To indicate what the machine should perform during the sequence, click the appropriate function and then select the action. Enter the step distance. Click OK, then Next. Name the sequence and click OK. Click Save. Within Headlands, click Exit and Repeat for the other sequences. Now that the Enter and Exit Headland sequences are finished and saved, return to the AutoTrack Automation Summary page to adjust the Turn settings. Under Speed Control, select On, then click Max Turn Speed. This will allow you to set the top speed that the machine will automatically steer itself around a turn. Click OK, then X out of the screen and repeat for max infield speed. This will allow you to set the top speed that the machine will reach once it has successfully completed the turn and is headed back into the field. Click into the turn size and adjust the settings by clicking the plus and minus buttons. This is a setting that allows you to adjust the size of your turn while in the field and able to see your planned turn. You may not need to adjust this setting if the default turn size completes the turn as desired. If you need to adjust where your automated turn begins, click into the Start Turn box and adjust by clicking plus and minus. If additional adjustments are needed, you can make them within the advanced settings. If you decide to manually control your implement or machine speed while using ATTA to steer automatically during turn, Make sure to check the box to dismiss notifications until the next key cycle. This will prevent you from receiving pop-up notifications as you approach each turn. While utilizing ATTA in the field, a turn status box will appear on the right side of the display. It shows you the direction and distance to the next turn and number of skip passes. To adjust turn direction, click the turn arrow and select the arrow in the direction you would like to turn. You can also use these arrows buttons to add or remove skip to a turn. You are now ready to use AutoTrack Turn Automation. For further assistance, refer to the John Deere Precision Ag User Guide or contact your local John Deere dealer.